What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. We're going to be checking out some of the squads that you guys have sent in. These are your end game squads and we'll be looking through a few of them and seeing if any are particularly the best that you can possibly get. Now a lot of these squads actually, let me just make a note, came out before the uh, the Goat and Invincible packs came out uh, this afternoon or last night. Um, they were, this, this is being recorded on the, or oh, what's today's date? Today is the, uh, let me quickly check, today's the, it's, it's, it's Sunday the 8th. So it's, it's 1 a.m. for me, Sunday the 8th. I posted this tweet at 1.20 on August the 6th. And I've got a few uh, photographs and a few images of teams that we'll be going through. You can see yourself here. If you put yourself in the comments, you'll most likely see yourself here. I will also be giving a rating out of 10, depending on whether or not uh, I think they're up to date with, with end game teams, pretty much. So this will be going a 1 to 10 rating based on end game. And we'll see how these people can go. Alrighty, first up here, we have my boy Kuz. Uh, Kuz is one of the greatest squads. Like, I've, I've seen Kuz as a he was in the previous My Team Review uh, uh, video. He is just an incredible team. He has Goat LeBron, the Invincible Kawhi, Invincible Bobol, Goat Kareem at power forward, and then Taco Four followed by uh, the Giannis, Paul George, Tony Kukoc, Kristaps, and Simbula. The only downside, and it's not even a downside, the only like the issue, the minimalistic issue that I see with this team is Giannis at the backup point guard. Just because he's, he's, he's kind of, for me, off the dribble, he's not as good. If he works for Kuz, then run him like that. This team is 10 out of 10. Nothing can change my mind on that. This team has to be one of the best in the game. I personally would get rid of uh, Giannis and run either Paul George at the point guard and then pick up another shooting guard, maybe like the Space Jam. Actually, you can't run LeBron. Maybe pick up another, another shooting guard, maybe another, I don't know, play around with that. But at the end of the day, if Kuz likes playing with Giannis, stick with Giannis. This team's a 10 out of 10. All right, next up, we have Zach here. I'm pretty sure I can go full screen for this team. I can. Uh, now, Zach did say this is all from packs, locker codes, and cheap auctions, he said. So, Zach isn't a strict my team player. But this is a team that he's just kind of uh, got together from a bit of experience through locker codes and opening, I'm guessing, free packs and whatnot. So he's got uh, Derek Rhodes, that's the throwback Derek Rhodes. He's got Michael Jordan, Clay Thompson, Zion, uh, and DeAndre Ayton as he's starting lineup. But by far the best card out of this lineup has to be this DeAndre Ayton. I think we can all agree on this. This Ayton can hold himself against some very good cards. So I think, obviously, there is improvement for the rest of the lineup, but definitely this DeAndre Ayton is very, very nice. Uh, now, Ja Morant, uh, Trey Mann, we've got RJ Barrett, OG, and Bryant Reeves. I know that Zach is a big fan of RJ, so I'm not going to diss him for having RJ there. Overall, in terms of an endgame team, I don't want to be rude. I would say like... I, I look, I know Zach's a, a competitive player. I would say like a six. I don't want to be rude, but like for end game compared to like an all goat team or something like this, this team can still hold itself. Except the point guards are very, very small, um, and Trey Man at the at the shooting guard position off the bench is kind of small as well. But look, at the end of the day, Zach's gonna have fun with his team. For that, it's a ten out of ten. But overall, for an end game team, I'll have to give this a. I'll give it a five out of ten. I'm sorry, Zach, a five out of ten. Alrighty, and now here for my boy Kai. He has got dark with Ben Simmons, LeBron. That's Space Jam, LeBron, Hedo Turkoglu, even Mobley, uh, Sim Abula, Cade Cunningham, Paul George, Danny Ferry, Giannis, and James Wiseman. Now, straight off the bat, the first thing I noticed is this Giannis, the, the, the backup Giannis. It's, uh, it's Opal Giannis. Um, look, Hedo, you could run Hedo at, but I mean, look, he's got Hedo... At small forward, I'm fine with that. Um, the first thing I did when I saw this team was say, why are you running Hedo at small forward? But seeing though you do have Cade, seeing though you do have Ben Simmons, I understand running him at small forward. And he can play small forward. He's very good at small forward. But the only improvement I would mainly make to this lineup is updating your bench SG and power forward. Like, the, the Paul George and Giannis, I think, are a bit outdated now. Well, actually, they're quite outdated now. So, I'd definitely look at maybe getting Cam Reddish for your backup shooting guard. Um, and maybe looking at getting... I don't know. I don't know how much MT he's got. But um, definitely look at maybe putting James Wiseman to the four, even. Or even, even running... Oh, you could maybe put Wiseman at the four at the starting lineup and then put Mobley to the backup power forward and then get like another center, get a cheap center, or even run him at center and get a cheap power forward. Either way, something like that. Just upgrading that Giannis. Um, overall, for an end game team, I'll give this an eight out of 10. Now, my man Murray had to come through. You know he had to come through and flex real quick. He's got Goat LeBron, he Invincible Paul George, Giannis, and Kristaps, and Goat Kareem, Ben Simmons Invincible, Kawhi Invincible, Jonathan Kamunga, 
over uh, the the next card, Invincible David Robinson, and a Go On Talent Spotlight Challenge James Wiseman. It's a 10 out of 10 team. There is nothing you can improve on with this lineup. It is absolutely incredible. Um, I wish that I had this lineup myself. Hopefully, after grinding a little bit of this next uh, final season of my team, I can have a team very similar to this. But however, for now, I'll stick with what I got. But overall, man, you've got an incredible lineup. Um, there's there's no no improvements. It's a 10 out of 10. It's 11 out of 10 if I can give you that. Um, it's just an incredible lineup, Murray, and you should be very proud of how you've gone this year. All right, next up is my man Isaiah. He has got Paul George at point guard, Kawhi, Bobo, Giannis, and Kristaps, Cade Cunningham, Cam British, Danny Ferry, Evan Mobley, and he has got James Wiseman. This team is very similar to the past two. It's kind of a combination of the past two um, teams that we've seen. Overall, I have to give it a 10 out of 10. It's it's a great end game squad. The Kristaps, uh, like the only thing I'd say is switch around Giannis and Bobo. That's my only thing. I mean, it is handy running Bobo at the, at the three, having that height. But I would say just for getting rebounds, a lot of people would be running cards like James Wiseman, even, uh, even oh, actually a lot of tall cards, even KP. Some people might run KP at that power forward position. So you really want to have tall players at your power forward position so they can box and get rebounds. So if you've got a 7-3 Kristaps, they're going to they're gonna out-rebound your Giannis, even though Giannis can jump quite high. I would recommend putting Bobo at the four. Um, if you like him at three, do that, man. It's, it's completely your choice. But personally, a fantastic team, 10 out of 10. But that one thing I would do, is switch around that Yarns and Bobo if that's something you're interested in. All right, now my man Dill Rob coming in. He's got Paul George, Luca, Kawhi, Yao. I love that Yao card. Taco, Blake Griffin, JR, T Mac, Bobo, and Chris Dubs for Zingas. He's got a twelve. He's actually got a thirteen man lineup. He's got Vince, Bill Russell, and Grant Hill as well. Uh, the first thing I'll do, I would probably switch around Luca and Paul George. Um, I think Luca can hold himself still in the point guard position, and having that having that height at the point guard instead of shooting guard, you pro, you don't really want Luca to be coming up against uh, taller shooting guards. There's a lot of a lot of cards that can play shooting guard, even like that Kawhi that can play shooting guard, and inevitably clamp up that Luca. I'd much prefer him to run at the point guard than Paul George, who's a bit taller at the uh, at the uh, shooting guard position. Besides that, very good team. Jr. I haven't used him. I actually haven't seen any gameplay of him. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if he's anything like his original cards, but look, he's going to be a very good card no matter what. The T-Mac is absolutely butter. Uh, Blake Griffin at point guard, I would prefer him at power forward. Um... I, I just think he's a bit clunky for power, for point guard. That's my personal opinion. Yao Ming and Taco, there's a reason those two cards are so hard to get and expensive, uh, either or. They're, they're, they're perfect. It's absolutely perfect lineup. Um, and it's a 13-man dark matter lineup. You can't get... It's a 13-man invincible squad, man. You can't get any better than this. Uh, fantastic. You can't... Obviously, you can get go cards and whatnot. But with uh, if you, you know, a few mixing around, a few changes here, uh, if that doesn't suit you, stick with what you got, man. It's a 10 out of 10 lineup. I absolutely love it, Dilrob. All right, next up, we got the man Tidzy here. He's got Goat LeBron. And just before we start with Tidzy, right? Everyone, you might know Tidzy. He's, you know, friends with a lot of higher-up people in the ANZ community. This man has played for, like, three weeks. Less than three weeks, right? And has grinded this team. This is this is pre-Invincible Goat Guaranteed Packs, right? This this lineup screen is pre-Guaranteed Invincible Goat Packs. So, this lineup is absolutely insane. He's got two Goat cards... And the rest are Invincibles plus James Wiseman. So to start off, he's got LeBron, a goat at the point guard. Carmelo, Bowl Ball, Chris Dubs, Taco, Paul George, Kawhi, Giannis, James Wiseman, and Kareem. Lineup is perfect. The only thing I'd say, and I know he knows what I'm going to say, is Carmelo. I don't like Carmelo on current or next gen. I've used him on both. Um, I don't like him on either. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. But I know that Titi's a big fan of Carmelo. So keep him around. Use him. And he's definitely a demon as well. He's an invincible at the end of the day. He's going to be a very, very good card. Overall, the lineup is fantastic. I love this lineup. Um, that Taco is a demon. Kristaps at the four. Like I mentioned before, some people like Titi will run Taco. I uh, will run Kristaps at the four. And so that's why you need to switch around those those shorter players at the four and make sure you're not going to get any mismatches. But overall, a fantastic lineup, Tizzy. Um, you should be very proud of how... I, I know you probably maybe spend money on the game. Who cares? Everyone has at some point, whether or not uh, whether or not they say they no money spent or not. Um, but you should be very happy with your team. It's a fantastic end game team, and it's a 10 out of 10 for me. All right, here is Bags Liddell, the man himself. He's got LaMelo, Kawhi, Tony Kukoc, Bill Russell, Chris Stubbs, Vince, Julius Irving, Danny, Ferry, James Wiseman, Simbalar. A lot of... You can, you can see a lot of similarities between these lineups. There's Kawhi, there's Wiseman. It's a card that I recommend to a lot of people, especially that Wiseman. Um, and you can tell, a lot of people are picking him up and it's very, very good to see. Now, the only change, the only change I'd make is Vince Carter at point guard. I know... I know that uh, that that uh, Banks does like him at point guard. Um, I personally wouldn't use him, 
That's just my personal opinion. Um, I still want to say it's a 10, though. I'd be rude to say this is not a 10 out of 10 lineup. Um, it's a fantastic team. Lamelo, look, it's pretty much just the point guard position, but the point guard position is each to their own. You can literally choose that yourself. You can be as creative, as uh, as decisive with that choice as you want. And at the end of the day, if you're happy with Lamelo and Vince, be happy with Lamelo and Vince. This is still a 10 out of 10 lineup at the end of the day, and it's a 10 out of 10 lineup for you. It's a 10 out of 10 lineup for me. All right, we're gonna start zooming through a few of these now. I a few of them blocked after on the down the bottom. I apologize for that. Now, this is Damon's. Uh, he has got Lamelo, Anthony Edwards, Scotty, KP, James Wiseman, John Stockton, Trey Young, Obi, Tim Duncan, and Lamarcus Aldridge. The first thing I'll do um, is definitely look at. I know that he just got KP like very recently. This is this is yesterday at five o'clock. So this was less than twelve hours ago that he posted this. So he he did get KP quite recently. So that those those two there, perfect. Those are very good. Look, Anthony Edwards can hold himself, but I definitely this these three here would be your first uh, your first change. Absolutely, your first change. Um, John Stockton and Trey Young, like six one and what's they're both six one, right? Or six one six three. Those two definitely need to definitely need to, to switch up, man. Um, and then Obi can hold himself to an extent, but in terms of end game, he's probably not the greatest choice. Um, Scotty's right. Scotty's invincible. Like the pretty much these four here, build around these four for now. Keep those four. Lamelo is kind of on the edge, but the first thing you have to do is get rid of these three and, and replace these three. Definitely look at Cam Reddish. Um, Cam Reddish is probably the, the best thing to look at the moment. Terry Dishinger, look at those two and replace those two. If you have to keep John Stockton for now, that's fine because he is an invincible. But replace Trey Young and Obi with uh, Terry Dishinger and uh, Cam Reddish from the, um, the Spotlight Challenges. They're free cards. They'll take you two games to get, and you'll be able to upgrade this lineup quite a bit. For an end game lineup, I'm gonna give it a. I'll give it an. 7.5 I'll give it a 7.5 alright the, the yeah look the the bench isn't fantastic uh, KP but these four are nice these four are quite nice there's a reason these two are cheaper but KP and James Wiseman will dominate Lamelo's still going to do nice so I'll, gi I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 good work Damon alright coming to the end now we're zooming through this a bit more this is my man Velocity or Scampers on Twitter he's got Luca, Grant Hill Tony Kukoc Bol Bol Kareem he's got Ayo he's got Lamelo he's got Danny Blake Griffin James Wiseman Jerry Terry and Moses Malone now I don't know what order he runs in I'm guessing these three here are just he's 11, 12, 13 like he doesn't really worry about them, uh, which is fair. Uh, the first thing, and probably the only thing, now looking at it, the, the only main thing I would look at is getting rid of Grant, like, not getting rid of Grant Hill, but if you, unless you're very used to Grant Hill's jump shot, I don't think he's worth playing on current or next. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Um, the Lamello is very nice. I haven't used AO, so I don't have an opinion on him, so I, unfortunately I can't say whether he's good or not, uh, in my own personal experience. Um, interestingly enough, why is this lineup not 99 overall, by the way? I know you guys can't see that, but, um, yeah, Grand Hill's a card that I'm, I'm a bit on the edge with, so definitely consider about him. It's a 10 out of 10 lineup for me, man. Um, it's a very, very good lineup. But, yeah, once again, Grand Hill's a card that you definitely need to look at, and if, if he's not working for you, definitely look at replacing him. A lot of people don't like him, and a lot of people kind of, I don't know, they're kind of, um, on the edge when it comes to Grand Hill. But at the end of the day, man, it's a very good lineup. That Kareem is juicy. Bol Bol is very juicy. And uh, that Kuko is one of the best small forwards in the game. I absolutely love him. So really good lineup velocity. 10 out of 10, man. All right, we have five or so more to go. We have Ben Simmons, AK, LeBron, James Wiseman, Kareem, Luca, Cam Reddish, Danny Ferry, Simbala, Anthony Davis, and a Ku coach and Sean Bradley down here on the bench. This is Lockstar on uh, on Twitter. He's got, so like, I like the Ben Simmons. AK, very nice at shooting guard. LeBron at small forward, very nice. Um, James Wiseman, Cream. So that's not line up. Very good. Solid. Very, very, very nice. Um, now, Luca, Cam, Danny, Simbala, Anthony Davis. Uh, first thing I'll do is switch around these two. If you're running a 10-man lineup, I'll switch around these two. Run Sim at the, at the five. Um, just for the big body inside. AD, I find, doesn't get enough interior-based contest even his invincible card so I'll, I'll definitely run sim there but that's my personal choice um now it really comes down to like i feel like these three could be reordered because lebron i mean lebron can play quite well at the three and obviously you've got you've got ak there at the at the two these three could be reordered but I think for now, I think at this state of the game, you can still run LeBron at 6'8 at the small four position. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, especially that card with Dante base is such an entertaining card to use. I absolutely love him. Uh, so, Lockie, mate, overall, 10 out of 10 lineup. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, once again, Cam Rage, very, very good choice. He backup shooting guard. Um, that's probably the only upgrade, honestly. Like, Cam Rage is, can hold himself, so that's very good. And you've still got that Tony Kukoc there, so that's a very nice card as well. I'm not going to talk about Sean Bradley. I do not like Sean Bradley this game. But overall, mate, I'll get... I'll get I, 
I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Even though Cam Reddish could be replaced, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. All right, now this is Moses. He's got a uh, full no money spent. It's an all reward, no money spent squad. So taking into consideration is no money spent. The man has 570,000 MT still. He's got Luca, Vince, Rodman, Blake, Taco, Jerry West, Julius Irving, Tony Kukoc, Bill Russell, Moses Malone, and then Wiseman, Butler, and Rui Huchimura. Um, I, the, the, the first thing, yeah, switch these two. Switch Dennis Rodman and Kukoc. Uh, Rodman shouldn't... Uh, look, Rodman should, probably shouldn't even be in an endgame squad at the moment. I can understand the only the only way I would let this through... I sound rude saying that. I'm so sorry. The only way that I would like accept this is because it's a no-way spent squad. But if you've got Kukoc, you may as well put Kukoc at your small forward position. Um, I'd get rid of Jerry West just because he's too small and run uh, Vince there. Kind of like back. Then run Vince at the backup uh, point guard. And then Julius and then Rodman if you like him or even bring up honestly bring up Butler Br put put Butler at um, the two put Julius Irving at the three uh, Kukoc on the bench for Rodman and just probably get rid of Rodman or put Rodman at your 12th man if you're running a 13 man uh, just do something like that like the Rodman he can't carry a slide at the three he, his jump shot is not fantastic on next um, or current from what I've seen I'd just say Kukoc is a is a top three small forward at the moment I think we can all agree with that Kukoc is a fantastic as well as Ferry but you don't have Ferry I'd say definitely put Kukoc in front of uh, Rodman Rodman back to the bench and rearrange as Jerry West put uh, Vince Carter to the uh, to the backup one and put Jul actually yeah put put Julius to the, the, the starting shooting guard this is a few spatial a few things you can move around make sure Sure, yeah, pretty much get rid of Jerry and get rid of Rodman. Overall, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10, Mosey. Very well done, mate. All right, this is my man, Adrian. He's got Russell Westbrook, Kawhi, LeBron, AD, Simbula, Boris Diaw, Kobe Bryant, Julius Irving, John Collins, and James Wiseman, and a Blake Griffin at the 11th man. The first thing I noticed is that Kobe Bryant, um, uh, like, I mean, look, I never like talking negative about, uh, negative about Kobe, but the, unfortunately, that Pantheon USA one just isn't, can't really hold up to his standard. Um, I would, I'd give Kobe the boot there. I'd put Julius at the, at the backup, uh, shooting guard. Boris is very good. Boris can do his thing. Um, I'm guessing you're a Russell Westbrook fan or you like Russell Westbrook. Uh, same as my man Fenton who definitely likes him and is grinding for him. So I'd, uh, I'd keep that the way it is. I, I don't like the shorter point guards but I'll definitely keep him around if, uh, if that's your own personal choice. Um, but yeah, get, get Kobe, Kobe out of there. Put Julius to the two. Um, and then okay, maybe even, uh, yeah, I'd say get, get rid of Kobe. Put Julius to the two. And then maybe look at investing into, a, into another three or Maybe it's an overall rearranging. I don't know who else is in your lineup at the moment or who else is in your collection, but yeah, unfortunately, the one recommendation I would say is get rid of Kobe, but otherwise, mate, I'll give this a 9 out of 10. Very good work, Adrian. Alrighty, here we have Cam the Beast on Twitter. Uh, he did say this is a free team besides the Curry, so bef besides uh, besides these, these Curry's here, okay? So this is a, I'm guessing he's, he's I'm guessing he's no money spent, I'm guessing. Uh, he's got Luca, Grant Hill, Kukoc, Dennis Rodman, Bill Russell, Manu, uh, Tom Van Arsdale, Danny Ferry, Moses Malone and James Wiseman. A good lineup. I don't know what you'd be spending your MT on. Um, like, I know... I'm guessing it's, like, not packs. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's each to their own. Um, I would would suggest getting that MT up about. Like, may, maybe running Luca, Bill Russell, and Wiseman in triple threat and grinding that, or even Kukoc. Um, and just getting that MT up, because you could definitely upgrade that Manu to the real recent Manu. Um, and then look at upgrading Danny and Tom Van Arsdale. Like, that's probably my recommendation. D Dennis is okay for now at the four. Even chuck up Wiseman at the four, man. I'd even run Wiseman at the four there. Actually, no, what I'll do. Okay, so I'd put Wiseman at the five, Russell at the four, and then put Moses at the five there, and Dennis to the backup four. That's what I'll do. Um, with the with these cards, and then look at upgrading your backup one to three. That's probably what I'll do at the moment. Luke is fine. Grant's fine as long as you're right with his jump shot. Kukoc is solid there. Good work on putting him there. But yeah, once again, rearrange these uh, the backup uh, bigs here. Put Wiseman to the the back at uh, the starting center. Russell to the starting power forward. Uh, and then Dennis to the backup, uh, backup four, and then Moses to the backup center. I hope that understand. You understand that, Cam. I know it's a bit confusing, mate. Um, but yeah, overall, I'll give this a. Just because of the 1 to 3, I want to give it like a 7.5 or an 8. I'll give it an 8. Give it an 8. It's very nice uh, starting lineup. You should be happy with that starting lineup, especially if it's a no money spent. Definitely very happy with that, mate. Uh, but definitely that 1 to 3 could definitely look at replacing. This is my man Cole World Simba on Twitter. He has got Ben Simmons, Kawhi, Bobol, Joel Embiid, Taco Fall, Blake Griffin, Cade Cunningham, Jimmy Butler, Edge, Chris Bosch, and Evan Mobley. Uh, very nice. Very, very nice. Um, I definitely... The, the, the first thing I would do is probably look at 
I don't know if, if, if Chris Bosch, I would choose whoever you prefer between Chris Bosch and Blake Griffin. And then whoever you prefer, keep them. I'd run Cade at the one, Jimmy Butler at the two, and then replace either, get rid of Blake Griffin for a small forward, or replace Blake Griffin at the four and get rid of Chris Bosch for a small forward. That's just what I would do. Um, unless you really, really like Blake at the point guard position, I reckon Cade would be more viable at the point guard at this time in the game. And then Invincible Jimmy, very nice jump shot. I love his jump shot. Each of their own. Some people don't like him, but I do like him. Uh, put him to the shooting guard. So basically, you're pushing you're pushing these two guys, a long one, and then putting Blake to the four. Or if you like Chris, get rid of Blake. And then getting it back up small forward. That's what I can recommend at the moment. Starting lineup is absolutely mint. Very, very well done in your starting lineup, man. You should be happy with that. Uh, but Cole World, man, I love this lineup. I'm going to... Look, I have to give it a 10. Like, there's there's nothing you can do wrong with this lineup. Um, it's a very, very nice lineup. I love that starting lineup, man. These are very, very nice. So a 10 out of 10, well done to Mr. Cole World. All righty, here's the man, Stoey. He has Blake Griffin, Luca, Bol Bol, Bill Russell, Simbola. Penny Hardaway, Julius Irving, Jason Tanner, Moses Malone, and James Wiseman. He's also got Vince Kukoc and Boris Diaw. Um, the first thing I'll do, I actually have not used or seen anyone use Tatum. Like, I haven't I haven't seen him on YouTube or anything. Um, I know people do have him and have access to him. I just don't know how he rolls at the moment, and I'd definitely look at running Kukoc instead, unless you're a Tatum fan. That's just my personal opinion. Like, I just love Kukoc that much. That I think he's one of the best in the game at the moment, and he's definitely a card that I would even, like, yeah, literally, Bol Bol would be one of the only cards I would put over small forward. Probably Bol Bol and Danny Ferry are the only two cards I would run over over Kuko to the moment. He's just that good and he's that viable at the moment. Um, very nice lineup overall. The only other thing is maybe looking at Boris Diaw instead of Penny. That's that's just each of their own though. If you prefer Penny, run Penny. Penny is still very very good. Um, and you could yeah, there's, you could do a bit mis mismatching here. Um, but very good lineup style, mate. Ten out of ten, it's fantastic. I appreciate your reply to the tweet, mate. And uh, we'll. Move on to the next person. Alrighty, last but definitely not least, we have our man Nathan here. He has Ben Simmons, LeBron, Ku Coach. I love the Ku Coach. Bol Bol, David Robinson, Blake Griffin, Luka Doncic, Danny Ferry, Anthony Davis, and James Wiseman. And then has Julius Irving, Moses Malone, and a Zach Levine for his 11th to 13th man. Um, really good lineup, man. I really, really like it. Um, the only change I would make is switching around... I would say right now, even though I have told people not to run him at shooting guard, Luka and LeBron... Just for now, I think I think that Luca would do better at the shooting guard position to the LeBron, and then running LeBron with Blake and Danny Ferry. That's just how I would do it. It's probably not how you would do it, obviously. But um, look, at the end of the day, it, I keep saying this: each to their own. You have your own personal opinions, but uh, that's just how I would do it. It's it's a fantastic lineup. Um, and look, even Moses off the bench, Julius Irving, there is a very very nice card you got there, man. So ten out of ten for your lineup, man. Uh, but look, that Jay, that LeBron and Lucas switch could definitely happen. But at the end of the day, it's completely up to how you want to do it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I do appreciate you all for tuning in. I appreciate all the support that you guys have been showing me over the past few videos. Uh, it's been absolutely insane. We're getting so close to 25,000 subs now. It's absolutely insane to say that. Uh, but we're getting very, very close. And you guys can see on screen right now my Twitter. If you guys are interested in being in the next video or being interested in my content overall, head across to that Twitter page and uh, definitely uh, leave me a follow if you're interested. Uh, and definitely look, subscribing over on the here if you're interested in any of this content. If you find it interesting in any sort of way, if you're uh, if you're a My Team player or a 2K player, or you've never even played, just interested in looking at this sort of content, Content, definitely consider hitting that sub button. It means a lot to me. We're on the road, as I said, to 25k here on YouTube. Um, I do have big plans for 2K22. I know everyone at YouTuber says that, but I do have some plans. Um, I'm, up, I'm, I'm planning on three to four uploads per week on here on YouTube. Um, I'm still going to be consistent on my Twitch, as, as consistent as I, as I can be uh, in terms of competitions and stuff like that. And uh, actually, very shortly, for you YouTube people that have made it this far in this video, just a little sneak peek. Over the next, hopefully, the next week, there's going to be two giveaways across on my Twitch. So make sure you go across to my Twitter. The link to that is in the description below, and uh, you'll be able to you'll be able to switch on those noties if you want to, and be one of the first people to enter the giveaways when they come out. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.